The next attribute that we define is companies. Define, click execute, define companies. So what this attribute does is it allows you uh, to allow your uh, organization to divide um, to divide uh, its divisions or groups by companies. Okay, or it could be a plant. It could, you know. So click on new entries and specify a company name and address and a description, right? And description. So <clears throat> click on give a company name. Okay, so let's say let's say point. In the address right let's say USA and SAP point and imprint what is the name of the company similarly you can have uh, another uh, whatever number of companies you, you decide are part of your organization you can define all of them here I'm going to define only one click on save put it in a transport request so what does this and uh, what does this attribute do or allow you to do but basically it allows you to you know uh, group uh, your divisions um, or plans or any other grouping you have in your organization uh, like a as a company okay this is also another attribute which which is a which you can assign to a role okay. save and go back So let's now let decide create. Uh, we are going to create maintain functional areas. Okay, so different departments that you have in your company, or you could have, you know, that the roles are associated with. Let's define those functional areas. <clears throat> 